Men, look around the room, look at each other. This is our family, that's who you have. You are a family, and you represent Mississippi State University. We are the Mississippi State football family. That is who we are. That is who we are. Take pride in that, play like that. Every single snap of this game, don't worry about anything else except the next play. How hard can I go the next play? We're Mississippi State. Sir. That's who we are. Go play that way out there on that field today as a family, as hard as anybody's seen this team play. All day running to the ball, great effort. All day, your choice about doing it right, over and over and over. Watching film, uh, we see that they were a pretty solid team, pretty decent team. Uh, they've played everyone that they've played so far this year pretty closely. They're a talented group of guys. They uh, they played extremely, extremely hard on defense, and uh, that was something that we were going to have to work at because they are going to be fast and shifty and move around a lot. That was just something we are going to have to deal with. Under center, two tight ends in. One is an offside blocker. Straight ahead. Quarterback sneak, and he breaks free. Inside the 20 to the 10. Tackle from behind and ridden down at the 5. Attempt for three points for the Bulldogs. It's on the way off the toe of Weston Graves. It's through the uprights, and the Bulldogs have put three points on the board. We know they're a good, hard-working team, and uh, they're very well coached. You know, uh, good receivers, good running back, good old line, D-line, et cetera. You know, you know, we was just thinking, man, do what we coach, you know, go out there and just play our game. They put a man in motion. They're going to hand it off for a sweep around the outside. And they've got it blocked, and he's in the open. Out to the 40. Foot race is on. He's at the 40 on the other end. He is going to go the distance. And that is a touchdown for UMass. And they have Lindsey in as the running back. Back to pass as Ford. Going to loft it down the field. And the receiver fell down. The Bulldogs intercept it and step out of bounds. The receiver really kind of had me slipping at that point, but I'm glad Kevon was over the top, man. I figured he was going to be there. You know, we worked on that uh, play in practice, and, uh, you know, sometimes you, you have to be eye discipline, and uh, Kevon was just there to make the play, and um, I'm glad he was. And now going to uh, roll back, get some pressure uh, as Mississippi State's going to sack the quarterback back at the 30-yard line. Fitzgerald in the pocket. Going upfield, caught again by Gray at the 50, gets to the 48 and gets the first down. Go! Yeah! Down seven to three, Fitzgerald will play action fake, has a player down the middle, caught by Malik Deer at the 25 yard line. And a snap to Fitzgerald, he gets pressure, runs away from pressure, fires on the run complete to Ross, and he scrambles forward and gets close to a first down. The hold, it's down, and the kick is away. Weston Graves has drilled it through, and Mississippi State has closed it within a point. It is seven to six. Snap to the quarterback, looking deep, and the throw to the end zone is caught for a touchdown. Unbelievable. Two minute drive, we were down. We knew uh, we knew we needed some momentum going into halftime, so we knew this two minute drive was gonna be big. Awaiting the snap from uh, Jamal Claiborne, he gets it. Makes it inside, throws it over the middle. Pass is caught by Farad Green. Second and four, Fitzgerald. Fires outside, caught by Gray. Broke a tackle and comes inside the 50-yard line. Two minutes is pretty pretty easy, but it's tough at the same time. Uh, they can make it easy because we're able to stay on the same side uh, if we want, or uh, we can you know move sides. But I uh, think through our heads, just being great, me and Fred, won, you know, and the rest of the offense, we want to take, we take great pride in uh, being the best at what we do, making every catch, take advantage, because you never know when, when your number is called, your number is called, you got to make the play. He's always been uh, right on where he needed to be. Uh, he comes in every day, works his butt off. Uh, he'll be the last one to leave, first one here. He's found a way to get open, and uh, he, we've, we've built a relationship over, uh, over our time here, and I think it's just going to keep growing and growing. We'll keep bonding more and more. Holloway, the back. Gonna run a quarterback draw, and Fitzgerald breaks free to the 30, got to the 25-yard line. 45 seconds on the clock, Fitzgerald fires. Gray makes a catch at the 10, broke a tackle, gets to about the eight and is knocked down. Snap to Fitzgerald, looks, 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 fires in the middle, caught, touchdown, I think, yes! Caught and driving into the end zone for the touchdown. Just 
steadily moved the ball down the field, and we, we scored and we came off sidelines, and we looked at each other like, why can't we do that every single drive from here on out? And so that was kind of our mentality going into halftime, that if we can do it then, then we can do it every drive coming out of halftime. Bulldogs put uh, Mixon in motion, uh, going to hand him the football, trying to get around the corner, got a block, turns the corner to the 40, to the 50, and he's got a first down, he's out of bounds far across the way, they're going to put it right on the 50-yard line. Pick up a first down in the pocket, Fitzgerald looking down the sideline, crosses open at the 25, at the 20, 10, 5, touchdown Fred Ross. I thought they had the angle. I thought they would tackle him. His second touchdown of the ball game. He just ran away from defenders, and the Bulldogs convert a 46-yard big play to take the lead in the football game. He was running a, a, a post corner move, and uh, he, he got up on the safety, and the safety's playing inside of him, and he, he gave him a move inside. The safety jumped, and he just he broke right in front of him, and a wildly pass. He caught it, broke a tackle, and took it to the house. So we were we were all pretty ecstatic. Uh, you see, we're all sprinting down the field, trying to celebrate as fast as we could with them because that was a heck of a play. And so from the 19-yard line, the snap and a throw towards the end zone going to be fought for. And is it wow. caught? It is caught for a touchdown. About an eight-yard shy of a first down. Ball on the 27-yard line, Fitzgerald. Looking out in the flat, throws complete to Gray. Broke the first tackle inside the 20. Spins away and then out of bounds. And Aries Williams in the ball game gets the ball, cuts it up, turns to the 10, goes to the 5, fights to the goal line. Did he get in? I think they say yes, he did, as he sprints in from 16 yards out to regain the lead for the Bulldogs. He came into the game, and you can just tell that he was he was ready to score. He was ready to he was ready to produce and hand the ball off, and he just he read some great blocks and made a guy miss and got it in there. Two back backfield, quarterback under center, blitzes on, passes away, pass is going to be picked off by Graham at the 35, back to the 30, back to the 20, back to the 10. He is in the end zone. A defensive touchdown for the Dogs on the interception by Jamal Graham. I just dropped back, you know, to look Looked to the field and the quarterback, I guess he didn't see me. And I seen the tight end coming across. And I figured he was going to throw it, so I kind of creeped up. And when he threw it, man, I just broke on it. And I caught it. And I just, I seen extra yards. I saw Richie coming. I thought I was going to bump him. That's why I kind of spin. And everybody been talking about this spin move. But like, uh, man, it was a blessing, man. When I, when I saw that field, I got through the end zone, man. It just felt so good, so much hype. And uh, I'm glad I got to celebrate it with my teammates. Back, throw, open, touchdown for Rod Green. The tight end is open in the end zone, and the Dogs' hurry-up offense pays off with another six points. I think for the most part, it kind of gave him a, a confidence boost, and then for the whole offense and the team, let us know that we don't have to rely on certain people that everybody can score uh, at will when, when we have a chance. to the quarterback. Again, pressure, stepping up, looking, wants to run, trying to get to the outside, and going to throw it towards the end zone, and the pass is caught, and that will do it. That's a touchdown. Now the give. Big hole for Shepard. It's wide open. He is headed to the end zone for a touchdown. Told you at halftime we're gonna will ourselves to win that football game. We're gonna will ourselves to win that. Guess what you did? <laughs> you will to win. But I got I got a screen. We got a bye week coming up right now. Okay, a great opportunity for a lot of guys in this room. We gotta continue to improve as a team. 
I keep telling you guys, I think are worrying about too many other things. Worry about the next play, how hard you can go. Not how many plays you played, how many plays you didn't play. Did I do good? Did I do bad? What happened? I gave up a sack. I didn't give up a sack. I ran hard. I caught the ball. Whatever. That game's over, right? Is there anything that we can do to change what just happened? No. We just can't have a big smile on our face. Get to have a big smile on our face. Now, as you think about it, be happy that we won. Okay? Be competitive and demand greatness of yourself. How can I improve? Think it. How can I improve? How am I going to be a little bit better tomorrow? A little bit better on practice when we come back to practice this week. A little bit better at the next game. Everybody in here, you look around, I'm going to see smiles. Everybody, I want to see some smiles, man. I want to see smiles. Uh, <laughs> smiles. Wow. Smile. Smile. You know, it's freaking hard to win, man. It's hard to win. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Good? Sing the song. Donald, get up here. Hi, Dak Prescott here. After losing my mom to colon cancer in 2013, it became personal to me. It is the second leading cancer killer. The good thing though, it can be prevented, it can be treated, and it can be beaten. So if you're 50 or older, get screened. Do it for me and do it for yourself. Come see us at Gastroenterology Associates or Baptist Cancer Center. Locations in Columbus and Starkville. The 2016 Nissan Rogue. IHS top safety pick with intuitive all-wheel drive. Get to your local Nissan store today. Take on any road. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Dog Talk has a new home, and that home is the veranda. Join me, Dan Mullen, every Thursday during football season for dinner and Dog Talk Live. The veranda is home to the best steaks in Starkville and the best blue plates in Mississippi. Jay Yates is always cooking up something delicious. I'll see you at the veranda where it's all about the flavor. Uh, I'm ready to go. We ain't got no pilots. How, how, how do you feel about the weight here? Hoping to go to sleep. Hoping to go to sleep. You look very sleepy. Huh, Nick? What, how do you feel? Got coach here. Feel fantastic. Feel fantastic. Why are they letting you play with that knowing you're going to break it? That's what I'm saying. I they got to be smarter than that, right? I really, or are they? I'm just ready to get back to Mississippi. You just ready to go back to Mississippi? Yeah. Yeah, we, we don't do this kind of weather here. Huh? No, I do the weather. It's just we've been I here think, two think, hours too long. I think I think UMass did this because we beat them. I do too. I agree. I don't know. There's Hamaker. Aaron Hamaker here. Don't do that. Do you not know how much this costs? Got the, Duke, the two player of the game is here. Yeah, they, uh, how y'all doing? Ashton Shumpert, Ash Reese. How you doing? Uh, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Williams, bro. Aaron. <laughs> how, you get, how, you, how you get my last name Aaron wrong, Reese. bro? Aaron Reese? I was texting Stuart. I was texting Stuart. How did you feel about playing that big time stadium? Oh, man, Shreddy, man. I was excited, baby, man. I was out there, man. Trying to catch all those balls, baby, man. I was trying to collect all of it, man. Man, I couldn't believe it, man. We was at Major Stadium, baby. Fox Murrow, man. Now we stuck over here. I was trying to get the play. Somebody help me. Please. I'm finna die. <laughs> How do you feel about being stuck here in Rhode Island with no pilot? Uh, I'm finna die. Uh, it's a great experience. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We just, we just chilling out. We chilling in the lobby. You know what I'm saying? How do, how do, how do you feel about um, a teammate here for Ron Green catching his first touchdown? Who, Ferret? Man, Ferret did that thing. His celebration was off. 
His celebration was off. It definitely was. Yeah, but uh, other than that, man, he got the touchdown, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he did that. He did that. Broad yeah, green, guys. This year, don't just dream about it, go. Turn to Prime Sport for exclusive access to the biggest sporting events on the planet. With premium seats, VIP access, exclusive pre-game events, and more. Go to primesport.com now. No one can stop me when I taste the feel. The 2016 Nissan Rogue. An IIHS top safety pick. With intuitive all-wheel drive. Get to your local Nissan store today. Take on any road. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Nobody really had to say anything because everybody already knew coming into this week that that's the ultimate goal is to get better and not, not, not use this bye week as a time just to kind of throw everything off and, and relax. But we still have to uh, prepare and rest our body in the right way, but at the same time we still have to prepare. So I think everybody's outlook on everything is still get better and that's the ultimate goal. They're big, they're fast, they're physical. I mean, they're a very good SEC defense, and, uh, but you know, we're going we're gonna to play our game and see what happens. Very well coached, uh, very fast, very strong, uh, very talented players, man. Uh, I noticed that they come ready to play, so the team gonna have to come ready to play just as well. Corners run with you. They, they, they pretty much cover everything. Hard hitting safeties, the linebackers, and D-line is exceptional. The whole defense is, is, is phenomenal. I mean, they all aggressive, and I scared to hit. I scared to get in there and do dirty work. The back end of, of Auburn's defense, you know, it's set on the front line, you know, giving them extra time to work, but man, those boys, they athletes. Dono is, that dude is wild, man. I love him. As you can see, my excitement kind of took over. Y'all never thought I'd be out here, man. Fox Sparrow! Fox Sparrow, baby! Fox Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Playing UMass at Patriot Stadium. Come on, baby. Uh, come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh, they should have never let me in here, man. Oh, I might not leave, baby. I might not leave. <laughs>